Let's just say Milos Raonic had a nose to pick in his second round match at Wimbledon. Okay, let's not. Canada's Milos Raonic shows his appreciation to the fans after beating Australia's John Millman 7-6, 7-6, 7-6 to advance to the third round of Wimbledon. He next faces Austrian Denis Novak, Glenn Kirk, AFP, Getty Images, but there's nearly always some physical issue that rears its ugly head when the 27-year-old from Thornhill tries to get back into his tennis groove. A shoulder, a knee, a wrist, a foot, a hip, a quad, an adductor muscle, back spasms, a litany of ailments that have plagued his oft-interrupted career and caused him to plunge from a world high of no. 3 in late 2016 to number 40 this past February, his lowest international ranking since 2011, following a miserable season of injury withdrawals. Had to bow out on the eve of Roland Guerrero six weeks ago with a bad knee, the Monte Carlo opened just before that, and the Queen's Club tournament, a grass court tune-up for Wimbledon, just after. Strained pectoral, walkover. Article continued below Fortunately Raonic stuffed up Shinaz was no hindrance to his play at the All England Club on Wednesday, as he set aside unseated Australian John Millman in straight sets, albeit each one going the tie-break distance. That's predictably Raonic territory, just a little bit of a reaction, he explained of his speaker afterwards, speaking nasally. Like a little bit of a lung reaction, virus, allergic to the green lawns of SW19, perish the thought, not that I'm aware of, but he did, on occasion, appear sluggish during returns in the 2 hour and 38 minute encounter. That signature howitzer serve, however, 34 aces, topping out 147 meters, p.h. Stood Ronick in good stead as per usual, as he advanced 7-6, 4-7-6, 4-7-6, 4-7-6, putting the 2016 Wimbledon finalist into the third round for the sixth straight year, in a grand slam that has been decimated by early round departures, 10 top 10 seeds falling, men and women, in the opening lap. Ronick, who raised his ATP ranking to no. 32 by making the final of the Stuttgart Open last month, lost to Roger Federer but who doesn't? is seated 17th at Wimbledon, his lowest designation since 2013, and on the opposite end of the draw from teenage compatriot Denis Shapovalov, who will be looking to keep in lockstep in his round of 64 match Thursday against Frenchman Benoit Pair. Article continued below, for the first set and a half I didn't create much, especially on his serve, Ronick noted of his contest with Millman. I was fortunate to get through that tiebreaker on two well-played points. I started playing well midway through the second set. I got stuck in that service game serving with the sun in my eyes but other than that, I think I beat him quite a few games to 30, had some opportunities that I just didn't quite make the most of. But overall happy to be through and happy to be moving on, Ronick reassured that he's pain free on the heels of his most recent problems, body has behaved. Obviously we are very cautious with it because it's tough to ask the body to stop and start all the time. We pay a lot more attention with the treatments after matches, after practices, we are spending a lot of time just to negate anything from coming up. I feel good, moving well on court. I feel like I'm doing the things well. And hopefully, my body allows me to play plenty of tennis. Wimbledon's grass surface, said Ronick, provides a nice cushion for those troublesome knees and the points tend to be shorter, with less lateral movement required. Though not the most nimble of athletes at 6 foot 5, he does cover a lot of court on those long muscular legs and with a wide wingspan. That lethal serve, Raonic's bread and butter asset, clipped a ball boy in yesterday's match. Less alarming than the ball girl he accidentally struck earlier. I think she probably took a little more of a grunt than he did. There should be danger pay for any human being who shares a court with Ronick. Everybody is exposed, he acknowledged. It could be a judge, could be anybody. The towering Canadian points out that he doesn't even tower all that much anymore as the sport has seen an increase in skyscraper men among the younger generation. The difference you see nowadays from the tennis I have seen previously from big guys, and I consider a big guy 6 to 5 and above, I'm sort of on the bottom edge of that. A 
A lot of the guys are taller than me, some are considerably taller than me, is that before everybody used to train the way a tennis player should train. People didn't used to make individual training programs, the big guys sort of realized, hey, this is what we need to do to get the most out of ourselves, you see guys moving more efficiently. You have Nick Kragias, who's incredibly athletic. You have Juan Martin, Del Potro, who I would say is one of the better movers, especially laterally. I think I move okay, height doesn't measure heart, as Blue Jays pitcher Marcus Stroman never tires of proclaiming. And formidability of serve doesn't necessarily blunt the all-round superiority of a Federer, a Rafael Nadal, and Andy Murray, who disposed of Ronnie Candley in that Wimbledon final two years ago but withdrew on the weekend, saying he was not yet fit enough for the gruel of potentially five set matches following arthroscopic surgery on his right hip in January. Has the human limit of cannonade serving been maxed out? Ronnie was asked. Can men possibly serve harder than this in years to come? I think it probably will be humanly possible, but it's a matter of physics, velocity versus control. You can only hit a ball from a certain angle so hard before it's not going to drop in time. To serve hard, it has to be flat and, like a flame-throwing pitcher, torque is the enemy, grinding down on bones and tissue. The human body was not designed for this. Ronick next brings his intimidating physiognomy and killer serve to bear against Austrian Denis Novak, another unseated opponent who came through qualifiers, and took out Canadian Peter Polanski in the first round. Ranked 171st, the 24-year-old upset Francis Lucas Poole, seated 17th, in a five-setter on Wednesday. Ronick and Novak have never met before, Ronick has never even seen Novak play before, I have 48 hours to learn as much as I can. But luckily for me, my game is always about imposing myself on the other guy, more so than adjusting to the other guy.